Hello YouTube family, let's begin a day on a fresh and positive note. A lot of us look out to setting routine only to get the best out of ourselves, to make sure that our day begins and continue to remain productive. How we decide to begin our day totally depends on what we are comfortable with, oftentimes even with what we want to accomplish in life. They say you can get all you want from life by simply setting intentions for it. Affirmations are the easiest way to do that just, which is why I begin by a day by reading all the affirmations from my diary. Affirmations can help you get closer to happiness, health and generic goals. I begin my day with some kitchen cleaning routine and do some basic cleaning in steps. Besides, this is the sunny day brings a lot of positive energy in me. On this sunny day, I decided to clean my uh, cabinets and kitchen too and I start by cleaning my glasses and it was a very amazing and relaxing experience. Good sunny days effects on my mood and set the tone of the day. So I am usually thankful for the sunny and bright days. And while the sun is charging my home up, it's time to remind myself of the things I want to finish for the day. Does it happen to you that some of the tasks uh, or some corners of the home stay pending or ignored for a long time? And how much of a big or small those things maybe which is why I came up with an idea to pick one and only one task for a day which is not part of the daily uh, chores and I have to focus on completing that one thing first after which uh, depending on the time and the energy I have I choose to pick up more tasks and this is why it is important because if we think it is small but a long pending task, uh, little steps make a huge difference in our home and cleaning regime and managing the household. I decided to clean these shelves uh, because they were a long pending task and I um, I was planning to clean them for a long time and today I get the time beside my daily cleaning so I clean them and it is it was a really relaxing experience to clean both of the shelves and because my daily sh plates and the cutlery and some few of the plates and glasses are here and some unused glass and cups are also on these shelves so I cleaned them and I washed them and it was a really amazing day to start and finish all the tasks. Through this way, I feel um, a cleaning routine for my home and eff eff efficiently clean the home and still not feeling stressed or overwhelmed too much by the work. Besides this, uh, my son is on holidays for the Easter and he is always there for help and counting and every kitchen and the house chores. He is always there to help me with them and I really enjoy his company because they, these are the few days he is with me 
and then after that he will be uh, again in his nursery and he will be busy with his own routine so these are the few days we are spending together we are cleaning together we are uh, happy in the kitchen time and yeah i really enjoy it after doing some uh, occasional cleaning i clean my cooktop and after that uh, i saw my fridge and go for the weekly grocery and it is a lovely weather and the spring is already on a bloom and during my visit on the um, supermarket i saw this uh, sculpture made by upcycled wood and made the um, elephant ivory it inspired me so much that upcycling is so great concept that i would like to share my concept of upcycling products um, in my kitchen and how i reuse different things for my um, for my kitchen use with these concepts i am uh, heading towards a uh, zero waste product utilization so uh, as we all know that uh, organizers are often deemed to be very expensive solution uh, we all always buy organizers either of made of wood or card or anything else they are expensive and even if they are of made of plastic they are even harmful for nature when we um, dispose them of so i can totally relate that due to expense and health hazard and the environment hazard so i have a solution at home that are a mix of a store bought organizer but they are also a homemade diy or upcycled products and to be very honest these are the very little things that are around my home but they make a big difference in my life because they help me to organize my things at the same time they save me money as well as i avoid buying um, buying some plastics or some uh, products which are not good for the environment i use these uh, paper bags which are of different products like legos h&m and we all use these paper bags um i fold them into and shape them into boxes and put my vegetables like uh, potatoes and onions in them because they are very helpful to keep them safe and fresh for a longer period of time and i am worried free that i am not consuming any plastics or any any uh, any product which is not good for my environment at the same time these uh, products these upcycling projects are cost saving and they cost me no money to save my uh, groceries for the week i even reuse the packets of uh, mm, vegetables which are um, of mm, paper bags and make them uh, to store the vegetables in the lowest corner of the fridge and they stay for uh, fresh for a longer period of time however for most of the time i use fresh vegetables because uh, uh, supermarket is very near to my home and it is uh, convenient for me to buy uh, fresh vegetables and make it fresh any time at home so i also al also know that uh, for some households which are not near to the markets they freeze or they buy frozen items uh, or vegetables for their uh, daily use which is also a thing i can understand completely so in that case situation sometimes i bought uh, buy vegetables and may cut them and store them uh, as a frozen element uh, because i also make pasta for my youngest uh, son mm, so i need them uh, vegetables from time to time 
but I prefer to use yeah. the fresh vegetables um, more often than the frozen elements uh, in my free freezer there is no vegetable which is uh, most of the time there is no vegetable which is uh, frozen but yeah um, occasionally there are some vegetables which I freeze or uh, some some odd times Besides this, cutting vegetables and fruits uh, which are fresh give me a very relaxing and homemaking experience. I always want to cook fresh, have a fresh things on my table and I really enjoy the fresh food, fresh fruits and everything being served as a really made from garden to table. If I, if I maintain that kind of lifestyle it will be an ideal situation for me but you know we are uh, dependent on the supermarkets and we in the flat cultures it is difficult to maintain a garden so i hope i am planning to have a garden in the community community um, space where we can have a plot and we can uh, grow our own vegetables and fruits and things like that and herbs especially uh, so i'm planning to have that kind of space too but uh, as you know um, these kind of spaces also have uh, a lot of people on the list and many people are also on the waiting list or already sharing those plots so it, it's it's kind of uh, sometimes kind of uh, uh, more on, on a waiting list but i hope so i will get it uh, with the help of community helpers and uh, people who organize those things Here again, my both of my kids were very excited uh, as I was cooking, cooking pasta and I was um, preparing cutting vegetables and they were both enjoying seeing me while cutting and they are now seeing me cooking the pasta and this pasta I am going to make it a bit dif different way uh, as I am going to make it base, uh, make it space with the Gigi Hadid pasta recipe uh, so uh, it's it's a kind of experimental pasta but it, it really tastes good for the sauce of the pasta um, I added uh, the garlic and the onions and after that the onions were translucent I added the tomas tomatoes and some um, herbs and salt and chili powder in it and let it cook i let it cook until the um, tomatoes were completely soft once tomatoes were soft i added the heavy cream in it and uh, almost half a cup and uh, to my taste i added the shredded chicken in it and let it everything have the taste uh, of each other and get to know each other and after that i added the whole of the base sauce with chicken to my veggies and i let it cook until all the tests mix together and all the spices and things get to know each other once the pasta um, once the sauce were and the veggies were completely mixed together i added the pasta as today uh, we are observing fast so it was my son who was eating this and he was just enjoying it i hope you like today's effort if you like my videos please do like share and subscribe my channel 
Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.